Hi guys, so today hopefully I'll make a quick video on how to make some spicy um, California rolls basically. I told my kids I was gonna make them sushi and I've been saying it for the last few days and today I said, oh, I'll make it today. Even though I'm super lazy right now, but I have three hours before I have to go pick them up so there's no reason why I wouldn't make it. Uh, basically when you make your sushi, what you're waiting for, the time consumption in my opinion, is just waiting for your rice to cook. So I'm gonna use my little DeSigna um, rice cooker that I've been using for a lot of different purposes recently. It's a mini rice cooker so it cooks a small amount of rice and normally when I make my rolls I want about six cups of rice and between four and six cups um, I usually use about half a cup of rice per roll um, so anyway but this is just a mini my husband's not here right now and if I run out of rice I just won't eat one but I'm sure it'll be fine I mean this will probably still make like three or four cups if even if it was full so um, I'm gonna use my mini rice cooker and I'm gonna show you real quick the things that are kind of maybe something that aren't stuff that you would have right now that you might have questions about. Let me get this some of this stuff out of the way. I wasn't really planning on making a video, but I thought, why not? So, we're gonna be using uh, short grain rice. Um, this is the kind I get, and it looks just like this, cow rose rice. It has a cute little guy on there, and they're so cute because he's just a little short rice with a little, little notch out of the corner. And it tells you there with the cooking and directions, but like I said, I'm gonna use a rice cooker. Um, short grain rice, I don't know if you can see, it has like a little tiny notch taken out of it. You can see it on, nope, hold on. Anyway, it's just shorter than your normal rice and it has a little tiny, tiny little cute notch. And anyway, that's one way you can identify it, but hopefully you'll just find some Calrose rice or whatever it is. I'm gonna be using this roasted seaweed sushi nori. I love this one, I like this brand, I like the flavor, it's fine. Um, good stuff, it lasts for a long time, and it's already roasted. If you find one that doesn't say roasted or when you get home, you're like, oh, you know, this one looks a little, not quite right. All you have to do is turn your, hopefully if you have a gas burner, on and just literally just go like this with each little piece. Just one side, the other side. Obviously you don't want it to burn so don't hold it there, but like just kind of quickly just give a little roasting, okay? So then you're good to go. But I'm going to using this one. You can find it at most grocery stores. This is what I see that they have. I am going to use so sesame seed. This is, I think this brand is like SFC, oh JFC. <laughs> I thought it was JFC, but I thought, oh that's kind of, what an unfortunate name. JFC, um, International ink, it's from LA, but this whole thing will cost you like three or four bucks when you can buy a little one from McCormick that costs like six dollars for like the smallest amount. But I just do like sprinkling sesame seeds on mine. The other thing that you might not have that you need that you want to look into is some rice vinegar. This one's seasoned rice vinegar, this one's Mitsukan brand. I don't know. This one's Kikuman, which you'll probably find more common. Miskan Nakano rice vinegar. Um, it's all good. I like to use this one. So I'm gonna use my seasoned rice vinegar. Um, I think if it's not seasoned, you might have to add a little bit of sugar to your to your liquid, but um, that's just to make the sushi rice. So you're gonna make your rice, and then when it's done, you're just gonna add a little bit of that rice vinegar into it and then spread it out. And the last thing you might not have, I always, or I wanna show you real quick, I'll be using this flaked imitation crab flake style. This is Transocean brand, Crab Classic. They sell this everywhere. Walmart has it, your local grocery store has it. They was on sale for two bucks. So I was like, ooh, I bought like seven packs because it freezes really nicely. So, I mean, this one's good until, well, actually March of 2019. Ooh, I gotta, maybe that's why it was so cheap. Um, but yeah, so I'll be using this. And then to make this a little bit spicy, you can just use this straight up or like the strips. But to make it spicy, I'm going to be putting a little bit of mayo and sriracha into this, okay? So let's get our rice cooking and then we will get going. Okay, I forgot to mention that. Of course the other things you're gonna need are avocado, um, cucumber, and that's what I put. So, I mean, if there's something else you wanna put in there, of course, it's your sushi, do whatever you like. So I've already placed some rice in here, three cups that came with the machine, so three cups worth, and then you're supposed to put as much water that goes up to that level, so the number three there. And I just have a little water in this little jug just to make it easy for you guys, but normally I would just take it to my sink and just fill it up to so the water hits that little three level and we're not rinsing it out we're not doing any of that because you do want sticky rice I mean that's what you want so I'm gonna cover this up plug it in and turn it on and after it's done when it goes to the warm function I'm just gonna leave it alone for 15 minutes just to make sure the rice is cooked through and um, some of the extra moisture kind of seeps back into the rice instead of just kind of hanging around the top there um, so I will be back Actually, well, I'm gonna come back in just a little bit. Well, to you guys it'll be right away. But to uh, cut up some of the vegetables and stuff to get everything ready and going. And, um, oh, you know what? What's going on here? There we go. 
All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, one of the first thing I'll work on is the um, crab, just to get it going and let it kind of start melting together as far as the flavor. So I'm just gonna open this up. Uh, I'm probably trying to make three or four rolls. Like, to me, if there's some left over, it's not a big deal, like, whatever. So I'm just gonna pull some of this out. Maybe half the pack, I guess. And you can take this apart with your fingers, obviously, if your hands are washed, ready to go. Uh, two forks, whatever it is that you want to do, but you want to tear this stuff up. So I'm just going to do this very lazily right now, guys. I'll probably try and cut it up a little bit more with my forks when we get there. But basically just trying to flake it. It doesn't have to be super tiny. I know some restaurants, like, if you go and they'll, it'll be like they ran it through the food processor, which you can do, I guess. Just, you know, kind of do whatever you like. It's still a little bit thick. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just eyeballing this. So like I said, that's like half that pack. I'm gonna take some mayo, just squeeze some of that in there. And that's kind of a lot of mayo, <laughs> but I do like it creamy. And then sriracha, as much as you would like. I was like, what is that noise? My camera's been doing funny things recently, so. And the sriracha, I mean, like, if you want it really spicy, add more. There are also uh, products that are already mixed, mayo and sriracha, and you can use those. And I totally forgot, maybe I'll go buy some, because I do need to go get some ginger anyway and some wasabi, because I ran out of ginger and wasabi. So, after I make the rolls, I do like to put them in the fridge, just to chill a little bit, because the rice was kind of warm, as we're going to work with it warm. Um, I like to just put them in the fridge so everything comes together. So, that's that. I might... Mix it up a little bit more. Like I said, maybe take it apart a little better with a couple of forks. But just mix that in, and that smells pretty spicy. I think I went a little overboard on my sriracha. All right. And I'm going to put this in the fridge until we're ready to make our rolls. Next thing I'm going to do is just cut up some avocado and the cucumber. Okay, guys. So this is just a regular cucumber. You can definitely use, oh, sorry, an English cucumber or hot health cucumber, whatever they call those fancier ones because they have less seeds. But this is just a regular one. You know, it was like a buck or two for a buck if you're lucky. And I've already just, um, uh, I was gonna say skinned it, but peeled it is probably a better <laughs> terminology. And when I went in there to my fridge to get this out, I realized I have mushrooms that I need to eat or they're gonna go bad soon. So I might just have to saute those and eat those up. Oh, uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is obviously your bamboo mat to make your rolls to roll it up, but we, I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm not gonna cut up my, um, What's this called? My um, avocado quite yet. So what I just did right now is just basically take the seeds out. And you can just cut it and you can even use a spoon to just kind of help you pull those out. Uh, I'm just cutting into it because I have a lot of cucumber. I have another one in the fridge. I'm not worried about wasting it. Now, you can do whatever you like. Most of the time people just cut pieces that are maybe a quarter of an inch thick. You can do that. You can cut them a little bit smaller so like matchstick so it looks cuter when you bite into it. So like if you had this, I'm this guy's really, I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, any of that little thin stuff that has like seeds, you just wanna get rid of it. So I'm just trying to make them a little bit thinner. Hopefully you can kinda of see, they're kinda of small. You can make them smaller, cuter, a little daintier. Normally um, with California rolls, you only use half a uh, piece of seaweed. Um, Cause it's kinda of dainty and usually when you go to the store or to the restaurant, they give you like six little pieces, but I'm making these at home and these are gonna be a good size. So I'm just going to cut a bunch of pieces of cucumber like this. And my rice is already at the warm function, but like I said, I'm going to leave it alone for about 15 minutes just to make sure it's all cooked through. And um, I think when we come back, we'll be ready to put it all together. Well, we've got to make the rice, the sushi rice. Okay, I'm all done cutting that up. Sorry, let me get the rice. And it is still steaming. You're going to work with it, not hot, but warm, I guess, in a way. So I'm just going to pop all this out. And I'm just going to guess this is about, I don't know, three cups of rice. Like I said, I use half a cup per roll. Oh, man, this rice cooker always makes such nice little rice at the bottom here, but we really don't want that. Well, at least I don't want that in here. I'm going to try to get as much as I can without the skin coming with it, but that skin is yummy. So let's just do it like that. I'll leave this over here and I'll eat that later. And as you see, this rice is nice and hot. And I'm gonna take just some of this rice vinegar. You're supposed to put about a quarter of a cup in six cups of rice. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this and just put a couple, maybe like a tablespoon and a half or so. 
and I'm gonna mix this through. And as I'm mixing it through, I'm also trying to cool the rice off. So I'll probably be doing this for a couple minutes just to get the rice kind of room temperature warm. Maybe leave it alone like this, like spread it up so it's not just all hot and sitting there. But just keep mixing it and fanning it and getting it a little bit cooler, okay? Oops, sorry about that. Okay, last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and cut up our um, avocado. Sorry, I'm gonna readjust this. And I've already washed it. I'm just gonna dry it off here. I have a spoon and a knife, and all we're gonna do is just, I usually put this in my hand, so <laughs> hold it in my hand as I do this, but, and hopefully this thing's not too beat up. I hate finding avocados that aren't ripe because they're gonna take forever to ripen, but, to ripen, but then the ones that are ripe are like ready to go, you know? I'm gonna put this back in the fridge shortly because I don't want it to start browning. And this guy, just to get him out, you can cut it in another quarter section, you know, cut it in half again, but I'm gonna just take a spoon Try not to bruise it up too much and scoop this baby out. So, pretty easy. And what I'm gonna do is cut this guy up in a quarter and then just, I don't know if you can see this, but basically in little pieces that are kind of thin, like that. And it'll probably be two or three in each slice, in each sushi. So anyway, maybe I'll cut these other ones as I get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna put those to the side. I'm gonna put all this to the side. I already brought out my crab meat. It's over here, ready to go. And one last thing that I wanna show you what I like to do with my bamboo mat is I try and um, put it, cover it somehow. So I have this big Ikea um, Ziploc, or I guess not Ziploc, it's Ikea brand, but, and I just put it in there and this is what's gonna help me keep it clean and I like that because you can even wash this and keep reusing it. So I reuse it until it gets like really bad and then I'm like, okay, this thing's probably done its time, you know? So, okay. So there's my mat ready to go. I'm gonna open up my sushi. And nori also, again, after I use it, you know, I'm only gonna use so many sheets. I um, put it also in a Ziploc and keep it nice and airtight. So see how one side is shiny and one side is kind of rough and dull. We're gonna put the shiny side down. Now some people like to leave an inch. I don't do that, I just go for it. I'm gonna get a little bit of water on my hands. Um, and I'm gonna take a good scoop of rice. Maybe a little more than that in just a minute, but we're just gonna start spreading it out. Ooh, I hope I don't kick this thing over. Actually, it's gonna be more than that. Oopsie, sorry, I readjusted because I can't really do this with the camera in front of me the way I like to do and work this. And I need some water, like here, so I can keep getting my hands wet. So this doesn't stick to my hands too much. And I go ahead and flatten it out now. Some people just kind of leave it puffy and flatten it out as they're rolling, but I don't know. I just like to get it all kind of situated right now. And you want to get it all across the thing. Again, keep wetting your hands if the rice starts sticking too much. Obviously not too, too much. You don't want this whole thing completely wet, but wet enough. And since this is a whole piece of nori, it's gonna wrap around a couple times, and that's kind of what I like. Okay, and then before I flip it over, I'm going to sprinkle this, and of course you can do a better job of getting the rice all over. And I like lots of this, so I'm gonna put quite a bit, okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this over. And now on this side, about an inch from the bottom, we're gonna start with our fillings. So I'm gonna put some avocado. Okay, there's that. Put my well, you know what? Let's put this later. I'm gonna move this just to, over a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put down some of the crab meat. So right here. And again, you can use just little strips of crab. Again, this isn't the daintiest. You know, if you came here to look for a sushi chef, <laughs> it's not me. All right, and then put our little guys here. You probably want to get a good amount in each area what you're obviously going to be biting into, so you want to make sure there's some of everything all across and everywhere. 
So now I'm going to pick this up. As I pull it over, I'm going to kind of with my fingers press in. Hope you can kind of see from the side that I'm pressing that in there, giving it a good little tug. And we're going to keep rolling as I feel. Hopefully, <laughs> you're kind of pushing this away from you, and it's also rolling off of the sushi at that point. And I think I rolled off my mat. But anyway, so <laughs> I can feel that that's pretty much the end of the sushi roll. So there we go. And I'm just going to give it a nice shape. Just kind of pressing it so everything's compressed. And I like putting on a big platter when I put it in the fridge. And then I cover it with some saran wrap after I'm done with all the rolls. So I should just lift this up. And there's my pretty little roll. And this is the bottom, OK? Obviously, it looks not pretty. So I'm going to put that over here. And there is our sushi roll. I'm going to complete all of them. I'm going to come back and cut them up for you, okay? Okay, I'm going to do this last one. Um, I had exactly enough rice, enough uh, crab meat, and exactly the right amount of uh, avocado and cucumber, which is crazy, for three rolls. Like, I didn't waste anything. I didn't... That's crazy. So anyway, um, I'm going to turn this sideways here. What is that? <laughs> Something on the floor. I think my daughter left a panda in it. A uh, little panda cookie that was chocolate stuff cookies but anyway I just want to show you again and hopefully my hands don't like get too much in the way so as I come up over this I'm kind of holding this in right okay and I'm giving it a little bit of a squeeze as I go I'm still squeezing like I want this to come together as the mat rolls out it's a little bit different because of that plastic on there because normally it would just kind of roll kind of hopefully you can kind of see that in there and I'm trying to get to the end of the roll, which rolls right off of this. And also, this mat's kind of small. Obviously, most times sushi's a little bit smaller. This is a little fat guy. And that's it, guys. Look how cute. Okay, so again, like I said, they're still a little bit warm. I'm going to put them in my fridge. I don't want them to dry out. So once they start getting a little bit chilly, I don't want to put the plastic wrap on it right now because it's going to make them sweat, right, with the warmth of the uh, rice that's still in there. But I'm just going to... Put them over here. I'm going to wash off my um, Ikea bag there. And these are some fat little rolls. If you want to put put whatever you want in them, guys, obviously. Uh, another thing that's good is maybe some pickled jalapeno, like Mexican jalapeno. It's nice. Um, but I'm going to put these in the fridge. Then I'll cover them up with plastic wrap. And then um, they'll be ready for the kids when dinner time comes around. And I'll show you guys then when I cut them. Um, I have some miso and easy. I didn't see I thought it was miso easy. Miso and easy. Um, broth. So, and I actually did buy some um, tofu the other day. I don't really have extra seaweed, but maybe I'll put some green onion, some tofu, and make some miso broth. So the kids will have miso, they'll have that. I also have some pot stickers. It'll just be kind of like a fun dinner tonight. Um, but I'll be right back with them cut up. So, you, well, I'll cut one so you can see what it looks like. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and oh, cut one of these guys up. And I normally cut. I forgot what I cut it on. I guess on here, but there's so many other ones I don't want to move them. But these are my little sushi serving boards I got like at um, Daiso, I think. But anyway, um, I'll just get this one in the middle because it's the first one I made. And they are very, very cold. So hopefully it doesn't fall apart too much. And this is for my little son. My other son went to sleep because he took some Benadryl. He had a... Uh, Really bad allergies today. So anyway, what we're gonna do is cut it pretty much down the middle. And I'm just using a sharp knife. I think this is one of those, what, fillet knife? I don't know. But this is like one of the sharper knives I have because I hardly ever use it. And you can take each one and you can put them right next to each other and do what you want, but I'm just gonna cut them in half again. And you can rinse this if you need to. And then each one of those halves in half, of course. And it's nice and firm, so it's really easy to do right now. And then, of course, you're going to do the same with the other side. And when you go to serve them, you know, you're going to turn them over and they're going to look awesome. So, what I mean over is like on the side, should I say. Oh, this is starting to get maybe rinsed off again. So be very careful, but you should be good to go. And... A lot of times you put them right next to each other as you're cutting them. You don't have to do what I'm doing, but what I mean by put the two halves next to each other and cut them together, and then they end up looking cute like this. And all you have to do is just grab them and pick them up, but anyway. Hopefully you can see this. 
a plate. And then you can give them a little squeeze of some more sriracha mayo mix. I was gonna buy some today when I went to get the um, wasabi, but they wanted like $6 for it. And I'm like, what the heck? So I'm not gonna do that, but the kids will have ginger and they'll have, you know, the other little sweet stuff there to go along with these guys. Um, some wasabi and all that and soy sauce. So there it is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I think it was pretty quick. I don't know. Again, do whatever you like. I think they're tasty, yummy, and ready to go. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Just quickly, I want to tell you to make the miso soup. I'm just putting some green onions, some tofu that's cut up in pieces, and some seaweed. And since I didn't find seaweed, like just big pieces when I went to Albertsons, I just got the seaweed snack. So it has a little bit of salt to it, but let's be real. This is super salty anyway. So I'm just going to let that boil like the instructions say, and then you're going to add in a couple tablespoons of this stuff and you got your soup. So just quickly wanted to show you that. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.